It's literally almost a week away, it's or about crazy. a week away. Yeah. It's Hopefully you've gotten all your Christmas shopping <laughs> done, like I have. <laughs> right. Uh, a little behind there, I guess. Um, mm-hmm. Just a little. Right. So Christmas time, it's literally my favorite time of year. It's so much fun. Um, uh, and it's it's about so many different things. It's about Christmas trees, and the giving and receiving of presents, and Christmas lights and decorations. Um, but the most important thing is about Jesus' birth, and we wanted to say that we always like to take time to reflect on that, because, you know, it gets really busy in December, and you kind of, so you, you, know, you get, get wrapped lost. up, yeah, get wrapped up in everything, so it's good to just take some time and, um, think about the true meaning of Christmas, which is Jesus' birth, and, yeah, and all that, so, yeah, so we thought that was, that was a, a good thing to say, and then, also, if you want to do it, too, with us, that'd be cool. Um, so what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be showing you different fun Christmas games you can play. Now, pretty much these are almost free. Like, you can find a yeah, lot of the things. Most of them are pretty easy. <laughs> yeah, a lot of the things you can find around um, your house. And if you do have to buy a few things, it only costs a couple of dollars. It's really not that expensive. And they're really fun. Um, so yeah, for all your Christmas parties or when you're simply bored and your <laughs> siblings need something to do, right? there you go. Exactly. Um, so we're going to be playing some of them. Some of them we'll just tell you about. Um, so we can start with the first one. Um, so this one we are going to do, and it's called uh, Christmas Movie Trivia Game. Now, uh, this is a fun game to do um, with teams. What you'll need is some Christmas movie questions and, as I said, teams. So, all you have to do is print out some of your favorite uh, Christmas movie uh, questions, and then you split your guests into teams, and they go off to different rooms, and they all try to figure out what the right answers are, and whoever gets the most wins. There you go. Um, So we have two uh, questions for each other, um, or two each, that we're going to share and see who can get them right. So, I guess I can start with my first one. All right. Okay, so, in It's a Wonderful Life, Mm-hmm. What are the names of George Bailey's four children? Oh, <laughs> come on. Okay, well, there's Zuzu. Yeah, That's we always Zuzu. remember Zuzu. <laughs> I think one was Benny? J- no, Janie was the one. So, Zuzu, Jenny, no, 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 Janie, sorry. Okay. Tommy, I think? Because that's okay. a little boy, and I don't know the other one. Well, you got those three, right? It Did was. I? Yeah. Ha. Uh, Janie, Zuzu, Tommy, and then the other one was Peter. Yeah, which is the see, oldest. I don't think I would have guessed that one. Yeah. I think. Like, it sounds like it could have been his name, but I don't think I would have guessed that. Yeah, <laughs> I wouldn't have gotten that. So, your question. Okay. How much older was Vera Ellen in the movie White Christmas than her sister, Rosemary Clooney? In real life? Mm-hmm. In real life. How much older? Ugh. Because in the movie, she plays her younger sister. Right. But she is older. Four years? Seven. She Whoa. She's seven years older than Rosemary seven. Clooney. Yes. I would not have guessed that. Yep. And she plays a younger sister. Not only that, but uh, Bing Crosby was 51, and <laughs> Rosemary Clooney was like 26 or 25 or something. Yeah. <laughs> it's like 25 year difference. Okay, so my next one is I think you're gonna get this one, but it's from Elf. And let's see. How many raised pizzas did Santa say were in New York before Buddy left to go to New York? Wait, okay, let me go on. There's like. <laughs> There's like 40, there's like, there's like, I'm going to say 40. I don't know. Oh, your close is 30. Uh, you know, there are like 30, 30 raised pizzas. pizzas. They all claim to be the original, but the first, what the real one is on 11. 11. <laughs> all right, so what's okay. last one? Your last one is, in the cartoon The Grinch, what was the first item that he stole from the Who's? Wreaths? It's actually stockings. Oh, really? Because he goes down the chimney and he has that magnet and he takes all the, the oh, things yeah. off. Right. And he takes all the stockings. Exactly. Um, so yeah, so I think that's a really fun game to play with guests to kind of figure out 
um, the qu the uh, answers to those. Um, so yeah, so that's the the uh, movie trivia game. That is the movie trivia game. All right, so our okay. next game is blind paper plate Christmas drawing. Right now, this one is literally free. <laughs> yeah, it's basically Pictionary, but yeah. you get to use a paper plate. And so yeah, you need paper plates, and then you're gonna need markers. Right. And that's pretty much it. Um, and then obviously, a brain, because you gotta think right. about it. <laughs> and so. preferably red and green markers for Yeah, if you wanna be holiday accurate. Right. <laughs> so, this game, the players are asked to draw a Christmas scene on a paper plate. Right. Um, uh, usually it's gonna be while it's on top of their head. But we're actually going to play it, so we're just going to do it next yeah, to we're here it like so this. you can see it. Right. But normally you would do it on top of your head, yeah. because then you can't see what you're doing. Um, and then points go to those who can guess what it is. Um, and you can make it a little easier if you do categories like, say, Christmas movies, um, you know, Christmas real-life things, or Christmas objects, something right. like that. Um, so we're going to be blindfolded, just because we can't put it on our head. Yes. This. And we are going to be drawing some Christmas stuff and see if we can guess it. All right, so okay. here we go. I'm ready to draw. We are going to do 30 seconds, but yeah. it is up to you however long you want to make this. Right, so, okay, so... This is going to be a challenge. Go. You got to lift it up a little bit. There we go. All right. Okay. Let's see. I see... What? I see... What? <laughs> Now, what category is this? This is for this a movie? This is a movie. This is a, a movie? movie? Okay. Yes. What? Okay. Um, okay, I see. It looks like an outline of Mary or a... F it looks like there's fire around her. <laughs> um, oh, time's up. Oh boy. I wow. Don't know what, <laughs> what, is, what is it? Oh, I wanted the pee. Okay. So this is the scene from um, Emmett Otter's Jug Band Christmas. Oh. So this is when um, she, his mom, is singing on the stage. Here's the piano. Here's the audience. There's the stage. That's a musical note. Oh, okay. too bad. <laughs> no, no. I guess I because they see were it. hedgehogs or whatever. So they had like. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was um, that was tough. Okay, ready? And Lucia's turn. All right. And this is a Christmas movie too. Okay, go. All right. I got that, and then. Okay, looking like a teepee. Okay, that's a person. Got that. Uh, what on earth? Okay, a girl and a boy? A Christmas tree? Um, okay, they're all... It's a Christmas tree. So they're all... Girls and boys is a Christmas tree. So is it... Um, uh, is it elf? Is it... Is it... Um, Come on! Oh, time's up. Oh. Uh, <laughs> it's... It's the uh, last scene in White Christmas. It's oh. with the tree and the red dresses and the guys in the Santa suits and the audience down there. So we both did a stage. It's so <laughs> funny. Yeah, we did. Mm. <sighs> well, uh, neither of us got that. <laughs> yeah. That's a hard one. Yeah, that definitely is. Uh, but fun. Okay, so the next one is called Blind Christmas Tree Ripping. Now what could that possibly mean? <laughs> You're not ripping a real tree, but it is um, another kind of blindfold, but you don't really need blindfold because they're behind uh, your back. So what you need, all you need really is green cardstock or construction paper. Um, and then what you're going to do is you're going to give people these pieces of paper and you're going to have them put them behind your back and they're gonna have to rip out a Christmas tree and whoever does the best job wins. There you go. All right, so we can start. Okay. Okay, ready? Do you have a time limit? No. Okay, go. Uh, okay, I'm done. No, wait. Oh, okay, almost done. Well, it was supposed to go this way. <laughs> <laughs> That's supposed to be the trunk. Well, okay, well. Hey, if I put it this way, <laughs> mine looks more like a tree. <laughs> this is our attempt at, hey, hey, I got this side as the, you know, the trunk. That's what I was going for. Yeah, the trunk. I thought I was going down, Yours but. is just completely <laughs> flat. <laughs> I'm just so flat. Yeah. <sighs> we can perfect it. If you spend four hours for... 12 weeks practicing, I'm sure you'll be perfect at it. Right. <laughs> um, but also another thing you can do to make it even more fun is you can give people like markers and uh, like stickers and stuff and they can 
like decorate it and whoever does the most original job wins too so there's that too all behind your back yeah all, all behind your back <laughs> all right so our next game is what's in santa's hat right so for this one you're going to need a santa hat and you're going to need unwrapped gifts or again just random stuff around your house right if you don't want to give it away exactly um okay so you're going to put the whatever it is inside the hat if you want it to be a gift just don't wrap it um, and then you're gonna have to, your guests try to figure out what's in the hat just using their hand. They can't look at it. Right. And if they get it right, they get to keep it. So we have here a Santa hat, and I guess I can put mine in first. Okay. So, so. full disclosure, I was supposed to bring out something for this game and I forgot. So I just <laughs> stole something from what's in here. <laughs> yeah. So. so I think I have a little more of an advantage because I know what's in here. Yeah. So you're probably gonna win. Okay. But, okay, turn away. Okay. How about it? Right. Don't look. Don't look. I wasn't looking. Oh, wait. You can't put your hand in. No, you can't. Oh, I thought you just... Okay. Uh... <laughs> what? what? Could it be? What is that? <laughs> okay, it feels like a wooden mini stick. A wooden mini stick. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Wait, uh... Uh, wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, wait. All right, count down. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five... Four, three, two, one. Final guess. Is it a wooden chair? <laughs> Not a wooden chair. <laughs> I, I don't know. What is it? When you see it, you'll know what it is. Oh! It's your ice cream little... scoop magnet. <laughs> yeah, no, I know. Okay. Well, I was thinking the stuff with this back here. I know you were. That's why I picked something over that you can't see, which she has a whole shelf of stuff over here. Uh, yeah, well, okay. <laughs> I would have never guessed that. It's so funny how you, when you don't see it, you know, you think you know it until you just have to feel it. Right. Oh, whoop. there you go. Okay, I can wear it now. All right. Yeah. Oh, this is large. It is a lot larger than the other one. Oh, it's got a lid to it. It's definitely like a little house or something. Is it one of those like Christmas houses in our village? Mm -hmm. Not in our village per se. It's it's useful. Oh, it's a teapot. Yeah. <laughs> I felt the little thingy. Yeah, it's, it's the it's little... A, uh, it's, it's a little house teapot. Yeah. Okay, so um, this is called the Jingle Bell Toss. We don't have any um, jingle bells, but we do have like little balls. You could call it ball toss. I don't know, Christmas ball toss. Um, so what you'll need is mini Dixie cups, uh, glue. It's best if you use hot glue, um, jingle bells or little balls, and then something to glue uh, the cups onto, like a little surface. So this is what it is right here. I made this, it's so easy to make. It's just little Dixie cups and you can get the actual red ones, but we had to like paint red onto them. Um, and then I used like a painting canvas to put them on, but you can use anything. And we kind of put it in like the shape of a tree. And then on the back we put more Dixie cups that is, so it would stand up. Kind of like, like a this. mini beanbag toss. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Um, and then you put them upside down and yeah, it's that too. You can just like um, use these for a little beanbag toss. You make a little hole and some little tiny bags, and it could be that too. Yeah. Um, so we have um, some different kinds of balls. These are like regular bouncy balls. Um, and then we, we, all we could find was cat, cat toys. toys. <laughs> you use cat toys that we have in our house. <laughs> so these actually do have little jingle bells in them. Um, they're a lot lighter. This one is like just a little fabric. Um, so we're gonna try all these out, and uh, yes, yeah, so we can go do that. All right, here we are. Yeah. I'm gonna go first, and I'm gonna try to get as many as, of the balls as I can in those over there. I mean, I'm gonna start with these ones. I have terrible aim, so this is gonna be really interesting <laughs> with how this goes. Oh, nope. that's close. Nope. Yep. Ah, too far. <laughs> this is not going well. Okay, come on. Yeah. yeah! One, two, uh, this, uh. one more. All right! Oh, wow, that's I got actually three. Really good. I think that the weight of them helped. I don't think the other ones worked as well. Yeah, I think these ones are a little bit heavier, so that probably helped. Plus, yeah. I kind of got to practice on the first three, so yeah, that's true. Okay, so now it is my turn, and I'm gonna try. <laughs> my aim is horrible too, so. Let's see. Here we go. Uh, Woo! Wow, first try. Yeah. 
Whoa. Yes! Whoa! Someone's good at this. All right. Almost. That's that's a light one, I think. Yeah, I don't think the light ones work as well. Oh, I got uh, it in! I got it in, but it choked out the other one out. Yeah. Uh, so technically, I kind of got that. But if it's being bad toss, it wouldn't work. All right. Oh, oh, I almost got that thing. Aim for the one that's right I didn't mean to. <laughs> And oh, now on. again. Technically, I've been getting like all the weights. Oh, you got one more. Okay. Yeah. Oh, well, I mean, I guess if you count them jumping in and out, I kind of got all of them at one. Yeah. With them staying in, you got two. Yeah, that's true. Um, did better than I thought it would. Okay, and I uh, hope you enjoyed this episode. We had a lot of fun with it. It was. Um, and you can try these at your Christmas parties or if you just want to try it with your friends and family. Um, and now it is time for the news. A group of elves have been reported to be missing from the North Pole. This group of six were last seen talking to the minions from Despicable Me. Experts say their best guess is these minions were overeager to become friends with the elves and took them home for a Christmas party sleepover. People are asked to keep a lookout for what could be a very dangerous situation. It has been reported that 89% of the wise men set up in nativities never travel enough to make it to the major scene in time for Christmas. Many households set up the three kingly characters with the plan to move them slowly onward each day of Advent. But in most cases, they don't move past the third or fourth day. And now it is time for the Taylor Treasure Box. Yay! All right, I forgot to Christmas it up this year. <laughs> you did. You yeah, you have to put little, little um, ornaments on it. That's okay. They're, this is all my grades. So yeah, it counts. I have to tell one truth and one lie. Hmm. All right, so mine is: Would you rather eat a candle or a bar of soap? Um, I feel like actually I wouldn't enjoy it, but I probably might eat them if you're gonna pay me like. A lot of money or something. <laughs> really? Pretty um, gross. It is pretty gross, but I feel like it's not gonna kill you, I don't think. I mean, I'd probably go for the candle because it's just wax. Soap usually has like, like flavor, not flavors, but like scents in it, and there's like, well, there's scents stuff. In, yeah, I guess there's cleaning stuff, yeah. Yeah. It, I guess, but if you get a candle and it's like all natural, it's probably made with normal stuff. Yeah. So I would probably go with the candle. Okay, so I have my one truth and one lie. These are Christmas themed, because why not? One is that I once forgot to wake up on Christmas morning and it was like really late and people had to wake me up. Or two, I once, while opening Christmas um, presents around the tree, I opened somebody else's present on accident. I feel like both of those could have happened. I'm gonna say that the lie is that you opened somebody else's present. That's actually the the truth. The one time I actually got you. Good. <laughs> yes. It just seems so like you like to sleep, so I would yeah. Just but I've never like sleep. like slept like too late on Christmas morning. Um, this is the one day a year you'll get up. <laughs> um, but yes. Yeah, so last year I was opening up a present and I thought it was mine because we color coordinate ours. Um, there's the three of us, so we have the white, green, and red. So I opened mine and it was. These little omega-3 packets, <laughs> like these health packet things, like, oh, okay. Well, thank you. Yeah, thank I you. <laughs> it's actually for my brother, because he was going off on a trip and he needed them. Again, hope you enjoyed this episode. Um, make sure to give us a like and a comment. Make sure to subscribe. After you subscribe, make sure to press the bell so you get all of our videos in your notifications box. 
and we hope you have a great Christmas. Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Good tidings to you and all of your kin. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year.